right now. The Yes, it is me, Market Vendor, here again today. Well, listen, there is doom and there is gloom all about. People are telling me, boy, Market, I get in cabin fever from staying inside all this time. The wife got me doing this. She got me doing that. She got me you know, cleaning up this and cleaning up that. You know, people are saying, I'm tired of being in the house. Well, it only just beginning, people. You understand? So if you are on lockdown, if you are working from home, if you have been told to stay home, if you are vulnerable, if you don't have to go out of the house, then don't do it. You understand? Now, why is it that people are having so much difficulty staying at home? But all along, sometimes we say, boy, I could really use a little break, you know. I could really use a little break. Well, now you got a little break. Those of you that got it, stay home. You understand? Business now winding down. Shops empty. Broad Street empty. All over the place. Restaurants, hotels. Uh, everybody closing down or, you know, taking a break from it. People getting mandatory vacation. People that work in the hotel sector don't know what next is coming up. But listen, people, we must not lose hope. Because your forefathers and mine, all of our forefathers, foreparents, they went through a lot more suffering than we did. And they survived. And we too will survive too as well. Just do the right things. Wash your hands, wash your hands, and then don't put your hand in your face. Now you see that last part? The washing the hands fairly all right. Don't my mark if your hands getting a little bit callousy from all the washing. You got to cream them too as well. I believe at some point you're going to have to use some cream, you know, a little cocoa butter cream or something. So, you know, because all the washing carry all the natural oils out of your hand. You know where you coming from, Chris, okay. Hands feeling a little rough sometimes, ain't it? Yeah, boy. You, you got that feeling too? Nah, yeah, 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 boy. Again, flaky, I think. Again, some little bruises, I think, from all that washing and rubbing. Yeah, but it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Some of the good things that can come out of this, we can learn that cleanliness is definitely next to godliness. And going forward, maybe we will now be adopting some of these practices permanently. Now listen, on the plus side, as I said, there are several things that you can do. All the projects that you had at home that you haven't been able to focus on, focus on some of them for now. You understand? Spending time with your family. They've been complaining, Daddy, you never home. You know, you're always working. Well, now you're home. Spend a little time with them. But that business about keeping your hand out of your face, it's almost like if I would have preferred somebody to tell me that. Because when they tell you, tell me that, you know, the first inclination when you tell somebody you can't do something is that somehow you put it inside the head that you must do it. And I know about you, but all day long, sometimes it just feel like a twitching. Like if I feel to, you know, put my hand, so I got to be taking his shirt, you know, and rubbing and things, then making sure your hands and tell you right after and so on. It got me paranoid, you know, and I feel like sometimes, why well, again that little itch by my eye, why well, again that little itch by my nose, by my face, the temptation, the desire of wanting to put your hand in your face is something else, ain't it? Now? Anyhow, you hear what Matt Fingal say, keep away from the men. You understand what he's saying? M-E-N. <laughs> Chris, you remember where it is? Mouth. Yes. Ears and nose. Right. Mouth, ears, eyes. and nose. Eyes, uh, eyes and nose, yes. Mouth, eyes, and nose. Mm -hmm. The men. M-E-N. <laughs> Thank you back for that PSA, boy. That they're brilliant. You see me, market? I gone for now. Have a blessing. And a wonderful day. You hear? <laughs>